it's you know Martin O'Neill obviously has to decide is he going to stay around for maybe another job in, in, in the Premiership is he going to is he going to decide that that's what he wants to do um, I think that um, the Republic job will be attractive to him um, but I'm not sure a bit like ourselves whoever comes into that Republic job is going to work wonders um, you know they simply do not have the players a bit like Northern Ireland from Northern Ireland's point of view, last night marked a new low. Martin Patterson and Gareth McCauley scored for Michael O'Neill's men. But in the end, Luxembourg secured their first home win in a World Cup match for 43 years. I've heard in the last 24 hours that a number of fans are calling for Michael O'Neill to be sacked. I don't agree with it at all. Um, Michael O'Neill was chosen as the best candidate uh, two years ago to come in and, and uh, you know work with this squad, change this squad around. And I feel he deserves another chance. I put all the blame on the players. And to be honest, I'm not sure Sir Alex Ferguson or Jose Mourinho could work wonders with this team. Northern Ireland don't just face a crisis on the pitch, but the governing body has jeopardised the funding for the proposed new national stadium. The FA are in a mess. They really need to take a just like the players last night in Luxembourg. They need to take a long, hard look at themselves and realise they cannot be a team of individuals. Collectively, they have to go forward as a group.